Hey, uh, oh shit, this is really not quite right. Ugh. Oh. What the fuck did that just... I don't know. Um, whoa. Whoa! That's not right. Okay. So, yeah, it's been a long time. Um, this video's not really going to be about me so much. Um, I got a comment today from somebody, well, if you want to see the person's name, you can go at the video on my Loneliness Sucks video. Said, I don't know about any of you, but I am also alone, except I feel empty and hopeless. It's like eating away at me and I feel like I'm in a corner. I once had a thought in my mind that I should blow all of my classmates away, and I agree with myself saying yes, all they ever are is cruel and unjust. This is true, by the way, I still have this thought and I'm really afraid I'm going to hurt someone. Life is horseshit for me. All I ever wanted was an answer for my loneliness and maybe, just maybe, I could move on. So, that was a, I was not expecting that kind of comment. I got some pretty heavy comments in my videos before and especially in that one. Excuse me, um, but that just kind of got my attention today and I wondered to myself, well why have I never made an update to that? Loneliness video that was ages ago, and I've I have never made an update. In fact, I haven't made an update to most of the videos that I should have, <laughs> and to tell you how things are for me or or how things have changed. But I feel like it shouldn't be about me because this person has felt the need to leave a comment, and I feel like I should try and help them. So, I mean, the only thing I can say is is that. I mean, I don't know. For me, I'm still struggling. I I don't know if I can really give advice. I can be a very unhappy person, and especially when I go out. And the the example I can give is the other night when I was out with my friends. If I mean we were out, well we were out drinking, and the alcohol is never the best thing when you're sad and I wasn't sad but one of my friends was and they took it upon themselves to get pretty fucked and they did and they were fucked by the time I got there at the bar this was pre-club this, this was just at a bar and she she was fucked and not literally but she was you know she was pretty drunk and it just got worse from there and I'm not going to go into why, it's not important, but it's, it's, when it comes down to it, it's a pretty odd thing when you go out, you know, you see all these cool people, these really, sometimes really beautiful, gorgeous people, and you think, my god, they're really nice, but it's a very odd, kind of lonely atmosphere, really, when it comes down to it. There's a good part of the night when everyone's having a wee dance, and it's fine, and then there's a time in the morning where people, when the sun's coming up and you're just like, fuck. People are going to work and you're still fucked. You're still a drunk. And it's like, whoa, why are we here? And I guess that's a sign of a good night if you're still out at that time. But I tend to get kind of depressed. And a dr I mean, the drink doesn't help that because it's a depressant anyway. But I just... I, I don't know. There's times when I go through a high and I'm like having a good time on the dance floor with wh whoever it is and you just want to go for it and just have a fucking awesome time and then time there's times when you just it's such an empty experience and it sucks. So I don't know how that relates to what he's feeling. <laughs> I've never wanted to kill somebody else. I've never wanted to commit suicide. Not that I've never thought or not that I've never been in that mind frame, or at least I've, I've had friends that I've wanted to and I've maybe and I've attempted to, so I can understand from their perspective. But 
I was very lonely in high school and and I'm not much better now so I don't know if I can give decent advice I work full time I have those are my friends that is my social circle I don't have anything else so if I don't have a job then I don't have any friends or at least not in real life I have my internet friends but it's not the same and you all know that you need people in your life to see you in the flesh it's very important it's, I mean, I'm also, I am single, I don't know if I want to be single, and I don't really know what I'm doing right now, so, and I've just realised this has become completely about me, but it, I'm sure people would like to know what's going on in my life as well, so, I'm not really sure what I'm doing, I'm still at the cinema, I'm applying for new jobs though. So I'm still full time there, and I might want to just cut my hours. I'm actually applying for bar like bar work. I'll be a bartender, <laughs> um, and it's something that I'm quite excited about. I haven't. We'll, we'll see what happens. I'm not going to jinx it. So yeah. To the person who sent me that message, please just don't do anything stupid. It's not worth it, and you will regret it for the rest of your life. You you really will. And that's the truth. I, I won't sit here and say that I've never had bad thoughts about other people. I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and lie. It's everyone has had ugly thoughts. But you just have to know that it, thing, it will get better in time. And, and it's hard for even for me to say that. Because I don't believe that most of the time, but you have to believe in something, otherwise you don't have anything. So, <laughs> with that in mind, try to bring this video up because I feel like it's getting a little bit sad. Um, oh, I've got my cookbook here. This is me being... Did you hear the way I just said that? It was the gayest thing I've ever said. Here, look guys, it's my cookbook! Hey! Yay, look, it's her, because she's awesome. Yeah. I've already had some. Oh, my grand. My grandparents were out today, and uh, we went. Well, not my grand. I've only got one, because the other ones are fucking dead. <laughs> but we we went out, and we had some to eat. So I'm quite hungry. I'm not, I'm quite, I'm not hungry. Um, I've just started speaking a lot faster. Um, I had meringue, where am I pointing? I had meringue and I had a fucking carrot cake and I keep swearing. Doesn't look that look awesome. I'm just kind of... There we go. Oh my fucking god. You have to give me a second, people. I'm, I'm in demand. Hello? I actually thought that was Andy Roddick on the TV, but it's not. It's somebody else who I don't know. Did you hear he was not going to bow to the Queen? See, um, uh, apparently, oh, I don't know if this is true. Well, apparently it's true. And now he did. I don't know. I don't know what happened. And my granny's like, oh, I should slap him. So, I would be courtesy and everything. I would do much more than that. And, um, <laughs> oh, I missed this. Anyway. I'm gonna go. This video is a complete state. Oh my fucking god, it's over 10 minutes. Bye bye! <laughs>